In Hibbing, Minnesota Guess who owned the furniture store? And guess whose grandfather owned the town theaters? Rich whites own design mine And Greyhounds, Jim Crow bus lines In Hibbing, in Minneapolis The racist bells are chime. University. Rich whites control this politics, its banks, mills, and factories. In Hibbing, in Minneapolis, guess who lived in poverty? Some people create myths for sale as fantasies. Others to fight for freedom and protest against society. In Minneapolis, Minnesota, a Citizens Alliance tried to bust the Teamsters Union and break the driver's strike. To keep an open shop while keeping closed social clubs in Hibbing in Minneapolis, that's how things were done. In Minneapolis, Minnesota, some could not rent or own a home in any neighborhood except in its northern zone. When the jobless in Gateway District got bulldozed from downtown, in Hibbing in Minneapolis, they didn't want the poor around. Some people create myths or sell as fantasies. Others still fight for freedom and protest against society. In Minneapolis, Minnesota, no firm did hire you. If you grew up on the north side or lived on Snelling Avenue. And professors Weinberg and Wiggins got fired from their politics in Hibbing, in Minneapolis. You couldn't be too leftist. In Hibbing, in Minneapolis, most whites just sang of love. Musicians showed off their skills and competed for jobs and clubs. And those who were ambitious got big wealth in New York. Yet in Hibbing and Minneapolis, people still are out of work. Some people create myths for sale as fantasies. Others still fight for freedom and protest against society.